Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Thanks for subscribing and liking my videos. Today we are going to make this. You can download the project file from the link in the description. Let's start the tutorial. Open After Effects and make a new composition by 1920 by 1080 pixel. And duration is 10 seconds. And I will call this logo. I have already imported the assist files. So let me drag logo to the logo composition. And scale it down. As you like. Let me make another composition with the same settings. And I will call this logo edge. Import our logo composition into logo edge composition. And I will duplicate logo composition. Change the color of first copy to black. And for the second copy, change the color to white. On the second copy, I will apply an effect called Simple Choker. As you increase the choke mat, the edges will stars appear. I will go with 6%. You are free to choose your own setting. Now the edges are really sharp. We need to smooth them. Make a new adjustment layer. And apply fast box blur. Change the blur radius to 3 pixel. And click on repeat edge pixel. Let's make another composition and I will call this reflection. In the assist folder you can find two kind of HDRI. So you can select any HDRI that you like for the reflection. I like to go with HDRI too. I will reposition this and apply an effect. CC rate tile. And I will expand the left to 5110. Open the position properties and make a keyframe at the beginning. Go to the end of this composition and drag the HDRI something like this. Cool, I'm happy with this setting. Let's make another composition. And I will call this final reflection. Import our reflection comp. Logo and Logo Edge. So here is the sequence. First Logo Edge, then Reflection and then Logo. I will select the Reflection layer and go to Track Mat. And set to Alpha Mat. So it looks something like this. I will turn off the Logo Edge. Select the Reflection Composition and apply CC Glass. Go to the Surface tab. Select the Bump Map and select Logo Edge. Softness to 50%. Height to 90%. And Displacement minus 300%. Open the Lighting tab. And select AE Lighting, so we can later on light the scene as per our need. Let's apply another effect called CC Blobalize. Open the Bloiness. Go to the Blob layer. And select Logo Edge.
for the softness, I will set 3% and the cut away to 0%. For the lighting I will use AE lighting. Cool, it's look good to me. Now select logo and reflection layer. And go to the edit and duplicate. I will duplicate the reflection composition. Hold down the alt key and replace the reflection with duplicated reflection. Select the reflection to comp and make some adjustments. Open CC glass. And change the softness to 20%, height 90%, and displacement minus 500. Open CC blobalize and set the softness to 5%. It's look good to me. Now. It's time to lighting our scene. Make a new light. First I will make an ambient light. And let me change intensity to 150%. Make another light and this time, I will make point light with the intensity 150%. Move the light something like this. And I will duplicate this light, and move it above to the logo. I'm happy with these settings. You are free to experiment with the different light and colors. Now let's make another composition and I will call this final animation. Make a new black solid for our background. In the assist folder you can find BG. Import it. Select the ellipse tool. And double click on it. Open the mask properties. And set the mask feather to 9130. Now double click on the mask. And rescale it something like this. Our background is ready now. Let's import our final reflection and logo composition. Make sure put the reflection at the top of logo. Now select the blending mode. And change blending mode to hard light. I will set the opacity to 50% for the reflection. And I will duplicate final reflection one more time. And you can experiment with the different blending modes. I like to go with soft light. I will set the opacity for the first reflection to 25% and for the second I will select 75%. Make all the layers 3D. Make a new null object. Parent the entire layer with this null object. And I will rename this position. Now set the keyframe for the position at around 1 second. Go to the beginning of animation. And change the Z position something like this. I will also convert this null into 3D. Cool. So the logo will totally disappear from the scene. I will select the position keyframes. And hit F9. Make it easy ease. Make a new null object. And I will call this rotation. 
parent the position null with rotation null. And make it 3D as well. Open the rotation properties. Make a keyframe for the Z position. Around one and half second. Come to the beginning. And set the Z value to minus 73. Select all keyframe, and easy ease them. I will offset the Z rotation keyframe from the position frames. I will open the graph editor and right click and change to edit speed graph. And make your graph something like this. Make adjustment layer. And I will call this blur. Applied CC fast box blur. Change the blur radius to 10%. Click on the repeat edge pixel. Make a keyframe. Come to the beginning of animation and set it to 0%. Now select all keyframes. Right click on any keyframe. Go to keyframe assistant. And click on time reverse. So it will flip the keyframes in time. I will make the background solid 2D. And scale to fit composition. Cool. Select the final reflection and logo layers and move them up a bit. So we have some space for our final text. I will select the background layer. Around 18 frames. Open opacity. Make a keyframe. Come to the beginning of the animation and set the opacity to 0%. Make another null object and I will call this position 2. I will parent the rotation null with position 2 null object. At around 24 frames open position 2. Position properties set a keyframe. Go to 5 seconds, and set the Z position to 500. So it will have a constant motion in our scene. Now select the type tool and type your company name. Select any font that you like. I'm going to apply an preset called Blur by Word to our text layer. You're free to choose your own setting. Let's take a RAM preview. We need to make some adjustment at the position null. Select the position keyframes and open graph editor. Make speed curve something like this. Check the animation, and we are done. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you like please, hit the like button, and consider subscribe. So I can continue making videos like this. This is Motion Studio, and I will see you in the next video.